All right, let's talk about my never-ending dislike of my own work. I have these contrasting feelings towards my own artworks. I'm never really truly happy with them and where they are at the moment. I'm always looking into the future, thinking to myself, oh wait, I can do that better. I just need a little bit more practice. Just a little bit more time. I've been doing art now for some years already, and I'm at the point where I think this will never go away. I will always be in the state of constant progression. It will never be enough. In a way, I'm starting to realize it's a curse and a blessing. In one way, it will always push me further to figure out stuff. And on the other hand, I'm never really happy with my work. Of course, I'm happy with my work, as in the joy of creating something, the sense of accomplishment, looking back at the body of work that I produced, and even how they turned out to be. Just looking at them makes me happy. But I'm always thinking further as well, thinking of the next step and why this work is hopefully worse than the next one or how I can make the next one better. And I don't want to go into the whole imposter syndrome. I think there are a lot of videos out there covering that. Just really quickly, it just means despite anything you achieve, nothing will put you into the mindset of accepting yourself as a good artist for this matter. But it can be applied to to other topics as well. So yeah, it will always make me want to improve my own paintings and my own art. And since I've been painting for a few years now, I'm fairly stable. Not always, of course. I guess no one really is. But I'm fairly stable with my sense of self-worth, or at least I think that at this time, who knows, right? So even though I have these contrasting feelings that make me feel like, oh, I kind of don't like this and I think I could do better. There's this very secure feeling inside of me that lets me be judgmental towards my own work. In a way, I think with the years, there comes the sense of security. And first of all, no one is their art. Our value as a person isn't defined by our art or for that matter by anything we do. The people who love us value us for being. The times we share, for better or worse, or our laughter, our joy, the memories we forge, and the bond we have with them. That's where our value lies, just being. We don't have to do anything else than that. And messing up one painting, for their argument's sake, messing up ten paintings in a row, even though that isn't the most pleasant experience, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Even making bad art is great. About this painting, I made this figure painting of a woman that you saw in the beginning. And I didn't like it, so I was like, hmm, what am I gonna do with this? And I decided I'm just gonna work really roughly and gestural over it. I always feel like messing something up to the point where I'm like, okay, let's actually make, make this better. I'm not trying to fix it with a small brush. It's when I produce at least to me my best work, or I feel like I'm making the most progress towards improving my art. So messing something up and then being able to say, hey, I I don't like this is is a great practice, I think. Because I don't know if, if you're making art and you're following some artists, um, you might only see like a spark of what they're doing and making art there's there's so much going on you don't see already the the countless reference photos some at least i go through right i'm taking videos even usually just so i can go back and forth between the the frames so i can choose the the right one that i feel like is what i want so you don't even see how how a lot of artists just I think most of them actually just there's this this huge body of work behind producing one work you haven't even touched paint at that point right but then just messing an artwork up is completely fine it's good even but in case you ever feel stuck you might want to check out this video <laughs> <laughs> 